Hi, in this video, I'm going to solve a question from IIT Jam Biotechnology 2016. And this question is on fluorescence, basically fluorescence versus phosphorescence. So before knowing this uh, question, we should talk a little bit about fluorescence and phosphorescence and the basic mechanism of these two. So say for instance, we have a fluorophore and we would excite the fluorophore with a particular wavelength of light say for instance we have our fluorophore which is actually gfp say for instance our fluorophore is gfp and we have excited our fluorophore with the excitation light of 488 which is in a blue range that is why i uh, made this excitation light as blue and after that what would happen it would get into its excited singlet states and if you don't know what is singlet state or what is triplet state, I would recommend you would go to my biophysical section and watch those videos. And so it would get into a higher energy state, higher energy singlet state. And as you can see, it is a first singlet state of higher energy than the second and up to uh, nth state. And there are fine uh, states which are actually rotational and vibrational states. So what happened? It would get top into the excited state and it would gradually come down and this uh, phenomenon is called inter uh, internal conversion and after that it would relax now the relaxation could be in uh, two ways one is it would relax in a radiative fashion and it is relaxing in a non-radiative fashion if it radiates in a radiative fashion then we could see that radiative uh, relaxation as fluorescence. So these would have uh, energy corresponding to a particular wavelength. And this wavelength is as in green spectrum. So we can see a green fluorescence out of our GFP molecule. And we are exciting it with a blue light of 488 nanometer. We are getting some how excitation around 509. So the first and phosphorescence is what is called phosphorescence is re radiative relaxation from the triplet state. So from the triplet state, the radiative relaxation takes place. So for the phosphorescence, same excitation was done previously. Excitation was done for the phosphorescence. phosphorescence. And then apart from getting straight down to its uh, ground state, it would perform a thing which is called inter-system crossing. It would get into another type of uh, electronic state called the triplet state and from the triplet, triplet state it would relax if it re relaxes in a radiative fashion then it is called phosphorescence and if it is if doesn't if it doesn't radiate in a uh, radiative fashion then we can't say it's a phosphorescence phosphorescence so this is the basic difference of fluorescence and phosphorescence another thing fluorescence is very fast it's an instantaneous process, but phosphorescence is just a glowing dark mechanism. So it's this relaxation is a far more time consuming and it's slow. So the, let's check out the question now. So it says which are of the following statements are correct as it's in a MSQ section. That means multiple options could be correct. Now we see. So fluorescence has much longer decay period than the phosphorescence. So this particular thing is actually not correct because fluorescence is fairly fast so fluorescence could not have a longer decay period than phosphorescence so phosphorescence has longer decay period so this option is incorrect and radiative transition from t1 to s0 is actually phosphorescence yeah you can see that radiative relaxation from triplet state to its ground state it's called the phosphorescence so this option is correct. Let's judge the second option. So this radiative transition from S1 to S0 is fluorescence. Yeah, you can see from S1 to S0, the radiative transition is called fluorescence. So it would be actually correct. And the last one is enhancing the lifetime of excited state is quenching. Now quenching is a totally different phenomena. Quenching is somewhat like using the excitation spectra of one fluorophore by another fluorophore 
another fluorophore is using that excitation uh, that uh, emission spectra of a particular fluorophore as its excitation spectra so this option is still incorrect so it's an incorrect option so for this particular question the two correct options are b and c i would recommend you would check my video on uh, fluorescence versus phosphorescence and it would clear your concept even more hope you enjoyed the video please like and give it a quick thumbs up thank you